Hey fam, thank you for coming to our channel and sitting there. Want to talk with me tonight? Yes, I'm coming to you on Wednesday, April 8th, 10.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. Now, all of this is alleged, but I'm trying to figure it out myself. Guys, what happened to Aunt Lori? <laughs> what happened to Kenya Morris on her mother's side, Aunt Lori? Did she just disregard her? Did she just twirl away in a frenzy of madness from her mother's side of the family? And she done dropped uh, Miss Lori, her auntie, off in some kind of unwelcome zone or whatnot. I'm just con trying to figure it all out because I don't see Aunt Laura on the Real Housewives mm -hmm. of Atlanta featuring Kenya Moore. Okay, I see this new aunt coming on her daddy's side that she's trying to showcase now. I'm like, new Auntie Lisa? Girl, and what's with these L's? But anyway, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother video. But we're going to get right on into it. Um, I saw the title. I saw Oh Lord. And then I was privy to watching the Real Housewives of Atlanta this past Sunday. And uh, I was like, damn, we replacing Aunt Lori already? Where, where is she at? She was with Kenya when one of her dogs, Velvet Head, died. And she was uh, with her cousin, sharing Aunt Lori through the difficult times of her growing up and this and that. And now we got Lisa. We looking at Lisa on her daddy's side. Yes, that's Kenya's daddy's sister that she basically is calling her dad and her aunt mother her mother because she raised her but yes that's lisa and that's auntie laurie and i'm like what's going on why auntie laurie couldn't handle kenya's baby if anything were to have come up and is mark really saying he wants aunt lisa to carry for the baby because he's in the picture you do know that kenya right uh, or you just don't want him to have the money that you would lead to baby Brooklyn. Is that what it is if anything happened to you? Because I know he would get legal custody if he ain't done nothing wrong to his own child. So I'm, I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding, baby girl. But okay, if you want to put Lisa over your financial portfolio and taking care of baby Brooklyn. All right, because I just don't see Ma giving up on letting someone else keep his child having full custody if that's what you're trying to do with this estate planner i know you're trying to go to her to hook up something as a uh, nest egg for your daughter but honey when litigation gets to going i hope she's a good real estate i'm not real estate but estate planner honey but anyway, we get into this article that Ron Collins from Celebrity Insider wrote out for us. Gave us a little piece of info on his perspective with what's going on with Kenya and um, what happened to uh, Aunt Laura and why is Lisa in the picture. He titles his article, Kenya Moore introduces her aunt to fans and posts gorgeous pictures that include baby Brooklyn. Okay. We go on into it. It says, Kenya Moore introduced her aunt to fans and followers and publicly declared her powerful love for the woman. Okay, now she had a powerful love for Aunt Laura too. But what happened? Can anybody get in the comments and tell me what happened to that declaration of love she had for that particular aunt at another point in time? All right, not in this article. But that was just my sidebar. Okay. She also, going back to the article, posted various amazing photos that also include her baby girl, baby Brooklyn. Check out her post below. Thank you for giving me an aunt by blood, but a little sister in every way imaginable. Can you begin her message? Okay, and I'm like, little sister. Okay, so you younger than, uh, I mean, Miss Lisa is younger than you. Okay, all right, uh, okay. But she's your daddy's sister. Uh, by way of your daddy's mother, who you claimed also as your mother because she uh, solely raised you when your mother didn't want you. You know, Laura was always plastered around Real Housewives of Atlanta, took pictures with Andy, featured on the show several times, and now she don't went ghost. Now, that was my sidebar, not in this article. But anyway, going back to the article, it says she continued and said that it's amazing how God works. One, I was only three days old. I was the only baby in the house. And nine months later, my grandmother who raised me had my Aunt Lisa. And at three days old, she flew from Detroit to help me take care of Brooklyn. Won't he do it? 
Mm. Well, what happened to your other aunt? Was she in the picture when Brooklyn came on the scene? All right. Going back to the article, it says, I trust her with my life, and she is on, and she is so in love with Brooklyn. Shout out all the sisters who are your favorite loves and favorite forever riders. Lisa's not on Instagram. Okay. Anyway, it gives a gorgeous picture of her. If you go on Kenya Moore's uh, social media platform, her Instagram account, you'll see a picture that she has of baby Brooklyn and Lisa uh, and a little shopping spree. Just some pictures of Lisa holding baby Brooklyn. Okay. And uh, they are adorable. Yes, they are. And ah, it just is what it is, I guess. But, I mean... Lisa, girl, is she using you as a, uh, how we call it, as a uh, nanny or what? Because you got to be careful with Kenya. She'll spend you in her life and then she'll regurgitate you out of it if you're not playing alone. I'm just saying because I'm still trying to figure out what happened now, Lauren. But anyway, um, we go on to read on the article. It says, thank you for giving me an aunt by blood. But little sister in everywhere imaginable. It's amazing how God works. One, I was only three days old. Okay, I read that. No, I didn't. Okay. I was only three days old. And I was the only baby in the house. And nine months later, my grandma who raised me had my Aunt Lisa. And at three days old, she flew. Look, I did read that. She's also saying that she trusts Brooklyn. And she trusts Lee. Well, she don't trust Brooklyn. She trusts Lisa with uh, Brooklyn. And uh, she trusts uh, Lisa with her life as well. Uh, and she is so in love with Brooklyn. Okay. Shout out to all the sisters who, okay, I read that. I'm sorry. Someone asked, is this the same aunt that used to have the short blonde hair? I'm confused. The aunt that had the short blonde hair that used to be on the show, her daughter is a chef in Brooklyn, looked just like her. Now, that's what I'm talking about. No, baby girl, you're talking about Aunt Lori, and we're looking for her. Maybe we need to put out a, a missing person's um, action a gram or something. Um, you know, we just need to find her. Maybe we need to do a well check. Where is Aunt Lisa family? I mean, Aunt Laura family. Where is she? Okay, another comment says she looks so genuinely nice. We don't know her, but she seems like a really nice person. Family is always the best. Okay, I could say they can go twofold. You got some family members that act like they nice and just that and third. You do the wrong thing. They turn on you like a tiger. Okay, but anyway, going to the next commenter. Uh, someone else posted, she's such a beautiful person inside and out. I only met her once, but I love her vibe. Okay. One other follower said that Brooklyn has a smile that came from above. God knew when and exactly what you needed. And God gave you one of his angels to help you on this journey. A fan told Ken that I love your conversations with your aunt yesterday. She said that you guys had the same values. That's so very important when deciding to allow people to be a large part of your kid's life, even if they are family members. Lots of the followers gushed over the amazing relationship that Kenya and her aunt have. Okay? And that story ends there. And I'm like, fam, say what you about this situation. I want to know. Do y'all want to know what happened to, uh, that's supposed to be a picture of Kenya's mom, Patricia Moore. But, uh, she's gorgeous if that is her. So, I can see where Kenya gets her looks from. So, however, where the hell is, uh, Aunt Laura? Okay. That's what inquiring minds want to know. Especially mine, because I'm nosy as hell. You know what I'm saying? But y'all get down in them comments and, and let me know what y'all think about it. And I know I'm going to have some people say, oh, that's her business. You don't need to be talking about that. Well, if they wouldn't put it out there, I wouldn't have nothing to talk about. Now, would I? Okay, so I'm just like, get down in them comments, family. My true family members and tell me what y'all speculations, y'all conspiracy theories, uh, minds are leading you to or what happened to Auntie Lori. Okay, I personally believe they don't got in a big ass fight. Lori cuss Kenya out about trying to put her sister on blast. And I mean, if a family member... And it happens to be your mother don't want you. Get some counseling. Pray about it. And keep it moving. Okay. You can't make nobody love you. They brought you to the world. They abandoned you. But it was other people that took up the slack. Raised you. Loved you. Gave you what you needed. And I know it's a situation with some people. When they don't have the love of their dad. Or they don't have the love of their mom. And it messes with them. And it'll probably messes, mess with them. 
throughout their whole duration of their life that they're living, but it shouldn't stop you. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't stop you from being a good parent to your children if you decide to have one, okay? And to tell you the truth, you shouldn't hold no ill will because it's them that are missing out on your glory moments and your uh, major milestones that you accomplish and you achieve, and they're not a part of it. I'm sure if they had a heart, they would be like feeling some kind of way as well as why they couldn't, what prevented them from being a good parent to you. So enough said about that family. I want to know what you feel about the situation. You get down in them comments and interact with one another and ask, tell me, hey, what, what happened to Auntie Lauren? What happened to her? I miss her. She was fun as hell. You know what I'm saying? And very witty and very beautiful. And again, I can see where Kenya gets her good looks from. Okay. But anyway, um, I do remember a scene when they were taping and Kenya was trying to get up in her family's life and try to put it all on TV. And, hey, Kenya signed up for all this foolishness. But her uh, mother's side said, they ain't, ain't going to be signing up for no foolishness and being judged by the public. They said, uh -uh, we ain't putting our shit out there. So we don't need nobody to be speaking on anything about us. And I agree. I totally agree. Because Kenya had a scene where she was going to her mother's house trying to get her mother on camera to confess why she didn't like her why did she abandon her and that wasn't right can you knew that wasn't right and um elijah come here come here come here come here come here come here sorry about that guys and you know she tried to make it be a storyline and her mama one hand and I, I i feel right with laura you had no right to do that you had no right to try to put your mother on blast on tv when she didn't want to be a part of these shenanigans and the charade of a storyline and you were wrong and she probably cussed kenya out real quick fast in a hurry and in depth when she got off the camera you know what i'm saying and maybe that's where the rip is going that's my perception that's what i'm perceiving of what may have happened to uh her and aunt Lori's um relationship and i could be wrong you know what i'm saying because i know it's also an episode when aunt Lori's daughter came over to visit kenya and baby Brooklyn, she was trying to pick her up and do things. And uh, Kenya kept taking the child away from her. So I'm like, Kenya, girl, you're too spiteful. You're too spiteful and mean. And you keep on going down this road. You keep on going down this road. And if anything negative happened to you, you, you <laughs> karma, baby. That's all I can say is karma. So don't mess up your daughter like your mother may have messed up on you. You know, and it seems like you're going into the same bad loophole from what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm hoping it never happens. I'm hoping you get your life together and you start seeing your daughter as a human being and not property you can like be using her for. So that's all I got to say, y'all. I'll see y'all next video. Take it easy. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Blessings.